Hello everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Planet Zoo, shall we? Well, we've got an upset string bock, but we've got a lot of visitors. And so it's time to say hello to all of these amazing folk who are visiting, well, except myself, but everyone else we can greet happily and rake in those conservation points. Okay. I like to come and check up on my own zoo. All right. Well, here we are. And this is our... Uh, the lemurs are about to mature. Okay, great. And that reminds me. So my good buddy, Nurse Incompetent, was saying that uh, I need to add information that educates people about ring-tailed lemurs and not just the... Um, Uh, red roughed lemurs. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just go to facilities and we can get media devices and we can just pick up a education board and we'll put it maybe, you know, here and we're going to turn this one on to uh, ring tailed lemurs and then we can duplicate this and kind of throw another one. Uh, over here, and then maybe another one uh, down here. Well, no. Yeah, 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 it's fine. There we go. Education everywhere. Okay, so now people are being educated properly. Um about the lemurs, and let's think. You know, while I'm here, uh, it isn't the worst idea to just say path and to uh, have some fun extending this path so that people can see the lemurs even more gloriously. Along this upper edge. Uh-huh. And then uh, we could even, like... Well, we'll continue it. Now, I don't think I can just build it down from here, but... Let's see if I can connect it. Let me get a, a view away from this, and let me tilt the camera and see where I'm at with this crazy lemur walkway. It's actually good. What we can do is uh, curl it, and then, yes, exactly. Look at that. Bam. And now we've done it, people. We have wrapped this around to create... Okay, we have a problem with the spring box again. Gosh, these spring box. You are being released to the wild. You're very old. So, Grandma, go back to the wild. Enjoy your remaining years free roaming and no more inbreeding, Grandma. Come on now. All right. Now, look, we've built this beautiful sweeping walkway that hopefully gives people a glimpse at the lemurs that is attractive. Now, I'm seeing that the... <laughs> actually, it might need to be raised a bit. I don't know if people can see over that edge, and that's kind of a shame. So what we want to do is... I want to click... I don't know if I can edit the path and just elevate it. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard sometimes to... Uh, to do something like that. And so what I might have to do is click on the barrier and say edit the barrier and then lower the barrier right here down to about there and then lower this barrier as well down and move these stones out of the way i love the stones but we want people to be able to see who are visiting on this side 
There we go. We can even lower this maybe slightly more. Yeah, that's about right. That height is good. Uh-huh. There. And then what we'll do is we'll just um, exit out of that, and then I'm just going to, uh, let's see. Now, I'm going to... I'm just going to move this down. And it's going to look a little awkward. Uh, let's see. But it's necessary so that the view is not obscured by people walking along this path. Okay, just kind of bring this down there. Now we're getting there. All right, let me zoom out and, yep, I think this one needs to be moved down, but everything else is good. All right, I'm satisfied with that. So now people up on this walkway can see. These trees might need to be slightly maneuvered. I don't want them to bump into the transport, nor do I want them to bump into people walking on the walkway. All right, so this tree might just be too big altogether. I need to go over here, and that's fine. Move this over here. I like this tree. I'm going to just kind of put another one here. And maybe, the, you know, just I don't want to necessarily block the view of the monorail, but I don't want it, you know, I want you to be focusing on the animals. And you can see it peeking through, but not anything too obtrusive. Okay, great. So now you have a nice view up here of the lemurs. We will need to move this vending machine to kind of exist over here. And this one can also exist over here. And then it's time to just build our usual fun time stuff of uh, bins, benches, and, and whatnot. And let's give people a place to sit. I know this doesn't match my theme at all. But it looks awesome. It's just got, like, pillows and stuff. So, <laughs> there's a very high possibility that I will add that in at some point. We want to have give people the opportunity to chill out whenever they want as much as possible. And so this is kind of that. We also uh, have the option to cover this walkway if we so wish it. Let's go ahead and throw in some waste receptacles up here. Give people a chance to throw away their garbage successfully. Okay. There we go. So we've got benches. We've got this. I think we probably do need um, some education up here so we can put these habitat boards that look more like this you know one here maybe you know like that and then we can turn these on this will be red rough this will be ringtail and then we can just duplicate this and throw up another one over here. And we can... Let's put one more uh, 
of the red rough, like here, and then here. Slide it back. Perfect. And then, let me dabble into the land of the ringtail. And throw this over here. And then maybe duplicate it. One more, like right here, should be good. Just to completely saturate the education such that everybody feels that they know what's going on. Now, I also want to build uh, signs that tell people not to feed the animals and stuff. I think it's right here. Uh, yeah, do not feed. No feeding. Don't do it. You know better. Okay. That's good. All right, and let's unpause it and see how this little adventure benefits people. Now, I do want to check in. I like to just see how people are doing. And we're still doing pretty well. Thirst, hunger, energy, you know. Everything there looks amazing. All right. I think, honestly, I can probably just edit the barrier... Uh, and lower this. I don't think it needs to be this high right here. I think I want to let people see in a bit better. Now, maybe the lemurs can jump off that out, so maybe I do need to, like, raise it a little bit more, but this should be good. Alright, good. And then it is time looking at our magnificent zoo, seeing everything thriving, to go to animal trading. And we're going to keep looking for uh, dogs. And we need some females. At least one more female, right? And we need... We want to get a good one. Not that. Nah, that's no good. And... Oh, boy. No fertility, huh? Come on now. Um, boy, tell you what. Sometimes it's just hard to find. This is fine. She's just old. Is that what's going on here? All right, we're going to just send her to the zoo, and we're going to throw her in there. Great. Okay, so our dog habitat has a great viewing point here. What do these people think? I'd give this view of the African wild dog three stars at most. Wow, that's brutal. Look, it's, they're right there. Maybe they want more. I couldn't even line up for zebra zipper. Oh, they wanted to ride Zebra Zipper. Oh my gosh, but yeah, look at the queue. Look how many people want to ride this. Well, you know what we do in that case? This is good news. This means that the Zebra Zipper is getting real popular. So we can go here, and we can edit this by um, ride statistics. No. <laughs> We're losing money on it. That's funny. Uh, ride operations, number of vehicles, continuous loop. First of all, you can go faster. You can go like 27 miles an hour. And then you must close the ride before you edit the track. All right. Uh, I kind of want to just add more cars, but I guess you have to close it. Is that right? All right. So let me just close it and then edit the track and then tell people... 
No, I want to edit the station itself. We're going to add more cars. No. Um... I want to add more vehicles. Yeah, 12. All right, and then now, turn it back on. So let's see, now that we've put more cars in, let's see if uh, this helps people. Now, a lot of people are going to get upset. Ooh, look at these penguins. They're, they're getting frisky. And by frisky, I mean they're sleeping. This is as frisky as penguins get. No, I'm just joking. They can be real frisky. They, they're just, but they're about to, she's about to have her baby. She's like waking up like, whoa, I am about to have a baby. I'm glad to see that they're using this massive habitat thing that I built for them. That's good. How are you guys doing? What is the problem? Last meal quality? Okay. Um, vet research complete. What'd you finish? African wild dog, sensational. We are researching the lemurs, right? Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Cancel that Nile monitor research. All hands on deck. Get those ring-tailed lemurs. Manto, I need ya. Hit it up. All right, great. Actually, let me go back to my... Thinking about that, let me go to my staff and select everyone, and let's just keep the training going. That vet is tired. All right. So good. But the penguins otherwise seem to be doing okay. Let's see. The terrain is is fine. The environment seems to be fine. The enrichment is good. All right. And... Yeah, overall they seem pleased with things except for their meal quality. And so let me just check the habitat and see if we can bump up. Yep, we got grade three right there, everybody. We just upped your meal quality in the penguin pen. Or what is this? The penguin palace, not a pen. It is a palace, and it should be. It's huge. Look at this thing. Okay, terrific. That's happening. So we got the dogs going. Look how many cars are on this. This is awesome. Now, I don't know. It's supposed to be moving faster than this. I don't know if they wait for people to get on before they go, but maybe we have a, a problem. These people are all viewing. These people are queued up massively. I, I thought adding that many more vehicles would help, but for some reason, they're not pushing the cars along. Come on, people. Maybe it just takes a second for all of these cars to go into effect. My objective was to try and temper this line because people are upset that they can't even fit into the queue. And that's, that's interesting. I didn't anticipate having that problem. But here we are. I up the speed and I up the cars, but we have such a massive blockage. I think the problem is that nobody's getting on at this stop. And so because of that, they have to wait before they, you know, shoot people out. But these people are waiting. Or maybe it just takes too long for, they can't, oh, maybe that's it. They can't send it until this gets all the way over there, perhaps. Ooh, the ringtail lemurs are mating. Yeah, that's right. Love is in the air. Everything is happening magically. Okay, great. Look at this. Look at this scene. People up here down here people are using my walkway too this is terrific by the way i need to uh put some quality lighting over here it's missing I don't want there to be any shenanigans with people feeling like there's criminal activity or they trip and we have a lawsuit. Let's give everyone so much illumination. 
there. That should be good. Yeah, that looks great. All right. Okay. And let me just check in with a random person. They're getting thirsty and they need to use the bathroom. That's a that's an issue. But for the most part, facility broken down. Let me guess. It is a vending machine, but it is being repaired. Somebody get it. There we go. It's open again. And did we fix its maintenance schedule? There you go. Every three months. Did it. All right. Now. It's time to think about a new habitat. So where should we put that? Given that this is our monorail track. I gotta lower this track. It's just ridiculously high up for no reason. And what this does, because it's so high, um, is it... I, I think I was gonna try to build it over stuff, and I did build it over some stuff, but it means that we can't install a stop along there effectively, and that's it's kind of a problem. Alright, now people are queuing up all over the place. Now we've just got interminable queues. So the question is... Where do we expand? Where should we build up? And I believe the answer is over in this area. We can use this station. So let's move out some trees. For the moment, I just built all these trees, uh, which is kind of funny. But we just see, like, where a good place for stuff would be. Can I double dip on this walkway? You know, that's a question. So I'm going to move this over here. Uh, we can just throw this there for the time being. Yes. The red rough lemurs are about to mate. Oh, yes, they are. This one's smelling the other one. Wow, look at how amazing these animals look. Their fur. Those tails are serious. Keepers rolling around. I like this animal view. Wow, look at that, like, placard. It's filled with, like, different pieces of food for them to enjoy. They climb up on this, and they chow down. Now, this is nice. I love it. All right, great. And let me think. Okay. Okay. And we've got some inbreeding already happening. <laughs> Which one is doing that, Ollie? All right, so you're an adult, and you're an adult, but you're a male, you're a female, you're 3.4 years old, you're 4.7 years old, but you're you're more attractive. Um, the question is, how many of each do I have in this in, in habitat? Like... I have three females and four males. So we can then get rid of uh, this dude and just be like, release you to the wild. And we'll get some conservation points. Fantastic. And we completed uh, the business of increasing the education to 7%, which seems really small, but we did it. All right, and then let's think about what if I were to try to install a habitat in this space? I can't have anyone going near this filtration system. But other than that, we can install this pretty readily in this area. People could even see it while they're riding. And then people can look down from up above. Hmm... And then maybe I could wind the path down around here so they could walk under this and see it and then maybe connect back up to here. So let's build... Uh... First of all, what I'm trying to get here is orangutans. So if I want um, orangutans on the market... no. Wrong thing. Uh, I need orangutans. Here they are. And they cost... Uh, that is not an orangutan. 
Um, yeah, look for orangutans, please. Empty market? Come on, you can do it. Oh, good lord. Okay, here's one. Um, yep, adopt this guy. And then... Let me see if I can get a female first. Let me organize this by... Oh, there's no females available at the moment. Let me look at the Zoopedia and see what they're... One male and five females. So one male is good enough for now, I guess, because we can't get any... Okay, you're not... You're not doing a good job of... I've selected this animal, right? <laughs> Try it again. No, no, these aren't orangutans. Yeah, select that animal. There you go. But yeah, it's all dudes. Alright, we gotta wait then... For a female to appear. But while we're doing that... Let me just look in my own animal trading in my storage. And check out... The Zoopedia on this animal. So, what do they need in terms of habitat? They need like 9,000 square feet with some climbing. All right, so let's build a, a habitat first of all and see how big we can make it. So I'm just going to take a regular barrier and I'm going to start building on... I think, to the edge of the existing barrier. Can I just add on to this, please? Yeah. And then, but I need to lower it. Oh, no. Never mind. My fault. I got to build my own um, over here. That's not as high because... Uh, I have to have this one go lower. But can I do that and lower it without lowering the whole thing is the question. And I don't think so. I think what I have to do is like connect it like this. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. We want this. Um, oops. Not that. Not what I did. Get rid of that. Raise this up, please. This has to go as high as it can. There we go. And then we're going to start building this. And we can build this as glass so that people can see through when they're standing over here. But what we don't want is for the orangutans to climb out and uh, startle slash destroy anyone. Oh, but do we want the path... To be able to somehow connect. Yeah, we do. Okay, so let me actually take this back. Maybe I should try to build the path first. So what I would do is say, okay. Walking path. Let me try and just have a walking path. Okay, not there. No, never mind. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, God. Path. Um, delete whatever I was doing. Ah, uh, that's too bad. I don't know how to fix that. Anyway, um... Okay, here we go. So now we can have some kind of crazy walking path, and I don't know when people can start going under. Here they go. Okay, great. So I want them to be able to go under the monorail. This seems super safe. And start, like, maybe tracing it along this way until we curl back around. Now, the thing to keep in my I need to check out the negative impact. So we don't want any guests. Oh, boy, we are just outside of it, aren't we? I think we did it perfectly just by sheer chance. Uh, let me just make sure. Yep, and we'll just kind of keep curling around. You guys can walk through the post. I do not mind. I 
and it connects. All right, so this path now connects in a very, very zigzaggy way. And now we can try to build a barrier in this space and just see how big it is that we can put something here. Let's just check it out. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, build a barrier. And I don't think there's any reason to... All right. Oh, God, wrong barrier. Huh. I, I wonder how it selected that barrier. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Change it to that, please. And then we're going to go over this way. And uh, I need to build another one. But, boy, it keeps going back to this brick barrier as if that's what I ever want. Um, no, we want to do this. So thank you. Uh-huh. And the orangutans will be probably traumatized by the presence of this monorail track in their world, but they're resilient. I'm just going to build it around these facilities for no good reason. There. Now that is a habitat. Not really. And what we'll do is then we'll go ahead and make the gate right here to connect to the staff path. And I'm curious how big this is now. It is 11,000. So, ooh, it's pretty tight. It's going to be pretty tight for the orangutans. It might have to be expanded at some point, but we can definitely fit a couple in here at the t for the time being. All right, this barrier needs to be edited so that this is like the rest of it. And, well, these posts are no good. Come on now, match it up. There you go. And I'm going to just begin uh, moving around by... raising as much of this habitat as I can. I'm dragging my mouse all the way around using this arrow tool, and I'm going to start elevating it. Okay, that's as much as I can raise it. In that sense, for now. And I might need to raise it more, but at the moment we're okay. And let me then go to my animal trading and just select the orangutan and send it to the zoo in here. And I'm going to go to zoo and we're going to go to work zones and I'm going to select, uh, boy, what work zone is the closest to this? I mean, I guess the central work zone or the zoo entry, huh? But it's not pretty. All right, there we go. We added that. We'll need to make another work zone over here at some point. All right, and the penguin is about to mature. That's good. Okay. I also need to go to zoo and stat animals. No, no, I'm sorry. Vet research. And we're going to take off someone on Bengal tiger research and throw somebody onto orangutans. Oh, they haven't got into the zoo yet, so we have to wait for a second for that. They might not like these plants poking through. We'll deal with that when we get there. And in the meantime, let me edit the barrier uh, by putting in some glass. I don't know if... Uh, Orangutans are shy or not. We'll find out, right? I'm definitely putting in the thick glass. Alright, there we go. 
Now people should be able to see it. What happened here? Oh, vet research complete. Good. All right, we got some ring-tailed lemur stuff going on. We're getting better. So now when you're waiting, you can at least see the orangutan. Let me pause it immediately. The, the orangutan is going to be unhappy. Oh my god, look at this dude. Yes! Orangutans are so good. I don't know why their face has that big flat thing on it. But it's awesome. It could be a plate. They can sleep face down. You know, um, they can do some amazing peekaboo work with this flat face but this guy looks awesome and let's see what he thinks about his situation he hates this space because he feels that there's no climbing and so we need to get climbing going so let's go ahead and uh, build a climbing solution large animal climbing frame alright so you're a large animal you might like that climbing frame let's unpause it and see what you think about this it's almost good but they want more so we need to find some other climbing thing for you all right we can build another one like just kind of somehow over here and let me unpause it and see how you feel about that. Now we good. Now he's happy about the terrain in terms of there's enough stuff for him to climb. Like he can climb over this. I hope he doesn't. It'd be hilarious if he could climb on this metal I-beam and then just attack the monorail. We don't actually want that to happen. But anyway, we need short grass. So let's go into our painter and just start giving this dude the short grass. There is way too much of the long grass. He hates that. Let's clean that up as fast as possible. And he wants some soil. So let's also throw that in. Mm-hmm. And we could put in even more. He could use some rock as well. And then we just need to get rid of all long grass. Mm -hmm. And let's just, you know, throw in some short grass. And we're good. So that is taken care of his... Oh, now there's too much short grass. So let's then throw in some soil. Because he likes that a lot. There we go. Perfect. All right, so let's look at his overview now. Um, his meal quality was garbage. He didn't like it. And he's got enrichment issues, which we'll fix up. Let me go quickly into zoo and staff and vet research, rather. I'm sorry. And then we're going to drag. Um, let's put actually Jacqueline on that. And then Anita, you can just uh, do some advanced research on, you know, zebras or whatever for the time being but for now let's let's get to know the animals that we have great now you need enrichment all right so this guy's name is elong like elon musk kind of you know but we need to change this um i don't know why jebediah fits for me, but this guy just is cruising along happily like a Jebediah of some kind. Alright, so we've got this good, but let me go into Habitat and then we're going to go into Filters Species, and we're just going to say um, Bornean Orangutan and we're going to look for Enrichment. First of all, we need to build a water pipe for you so you can drink like here or here We're going to give you an awesome feeding platform um, that can be located one over here and maybe one over here. And then it's time for beds and shelters. Let me give you some 
big bedding down there, maybe under there, over there. We'll see if you want a hard shelter later. And then now time for enrichment. So let's do some food. And a forage box sounds awesome. You can do it right here in front of the the guests, maybe. No, there's it's kind of hard to fit it in. Uh, this is really, really difficult to squeeze it in. Even here, I can't squeeze... There we go. Huh. Now, I think what's happening is it's like... There we go. Tree forager. Yeah, check that out. And then toys. You are... First of all, we love when orangutans play the piano. And we also enjoy, if they want to play with a tire, a drum is pretty priceless, as is a cardboard box. We'll put that up there. And then we'll, like, balance a soccer ball over here. There. All right. So this looks fun already. Let's go ahead and unpause it and see how you're doing. Everything is going up now. No interspecies bonus. So we could maybe boost that, but that's not a thing right now. And your meal quality was still bad. So we got to get you something nicer. We will. But for now... Oh, look, we have one... This is hysterical. We have one lone guest, and she's trying it out. And she's like, I have to go to the bathroom. She's going this way to ride on the zebra zipper. She saw the zebra zipper. Oh my gosh, look what she says. I have treasured looking at the Gariel so much that I'm never going to clean my eyeballs. Darcy Gossett loved the Gariel exhibit. Fantastic. Speaking of toilets, let's put in another toilet block for people. You never know when people are going to need to go to the toilet. And so let's give them just a brand spanking new toilet. Right over here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, um, I don't... Oh, no, that was the right thing. I just... Uh, it doesn't need to be on the grid in this fashion. That's oh, fine. Whatever. There we go. There's a toilet. And then we can... I want to check animal trading and see if any new animal orangutans have come up. Oh, we got some females. We got to get one. Pounce. Get it. Yes. Send this to the zoo. All right. We got a female orangutan. I think that's, you know, maybe all we want. We could try to get another female. Oh, boy. It did this again. Okay. Um. Yep. Orangutans only, please. This one is small, but we can take it. And we'll send it to the zoo. And then there we go. And now we're about to have a bunch of orangutans. So that's terrific. We can always expand this by editing the path later if we need to. And let's then start adding in all of the things that we need with guests coming over to check out our orangutans. Like donation boxes liberally placed around the exhibit. So that you can remember to do your part to support the zoo. I mean, orangutans. And after that's done, let's go ahead and just toss in some benches so people can chill. Don't want anybody getting tired. You can wait by the bathroom for your friends. And then this way you can just chill out and look at the tremendous orangutans. Or stare up and wonder at the zebra zipper, if you wish. Uh-huh. And then we're just going to put in some trash cans. Mm-hmm. 
pretty good. Oh, put it there. There we go. Oh, there's a trash can there, so we don't need it. And then the next job is to... Well, we can move this lamp and this bench. They're kind of in an awkward position at this point. Yeah, you better clean that, dude. It looks awful. All right. So we'll just throw in some lighting. To keep this area comfortable. And safe. Uh-huh. Now we're talking. Uh, yeah. That looks good. I like this. Perfect. Let me unpause it. And we need to obviously put in the educational stuff. But let's just check out. Look at this. The penguins are mating... We actually didn't end up having to break the bank completely on these orangutans. So that's magnificent, if you ask me. Look at this guy. He came in, and I don't know why he's so happy, but he's thrilled. Why are you so happy? Because they weren't... She's, like, checking it out. She's like, oh, God. I do need to check this, though. So first of all, mechanic needs to come every three months, the vet needs to come every three months, and the keeper every month. That's great. And this is going to be the, going to be called um, Orangaland. You get it? It's the Orangaland. All right. And so this is... Uh, Betsy, and this is um, Clarice. Okay, and let's see how they're feeling. Now the space is becoming a problem, though. Uh, oh, because they need more climbing area. They're like, this is not enough. You know what, though? Let me just pause it. I think, I can't remember, but do trees count? As climbing area. The navigable land area is also too small at this point for them. So that's sad. But what I could do is move these facilities around a little bit. Maybe. Actually, you know what the better idea would be? Is to just walk the path around this way. And then allow the habitat to really curl out this way. And we'll do that at some point. But for now, they need um, some environmental stuff. The coverage is no good, right? So they're from tropical Asia. And they don't like this rhubarb plant. It's like piercing through. They don't seem to care about that. But anyway, um, I'm going to go to uh, nature. And we're going to go to filters. And we're going to go biome tropical continent asia and we're going to try to build some trees that they can climb plants only what do we got so for example like this tree can they climb this right would be a question does this add climbing area for them or not i'll tell you what it does add it adds like a way for them to escape the habitat or to attack the uh monorail but let's see if i put that there for example can they climb that let me unpause it um they like the coverage instantly but they can't seem to climb it so i'm going to need to build them another climbing thing It's only in the yellow. It's not like it's the end of the world. But they want more climbing. So let me go into... Uh, habitat. And give them something to climb on. Let 
I'm gonna just ask for large animals only. No, um, climb. And let's see. It's interesting. I built all this stuff. There we go. <laughs> this is hilarious. Yep, just build this, please. Um, let me see where I could build this. Oh, God, this tree. All right. Can we build this here and it doesn't wreck the monorail? Is that possible? I guess it goes above it, right? Look how fun this is. Okay. Now I want to see... Um, what happened? Oh, vet research complete. Beautiful. African wild dog just thrumming along. The red rough lemur is about to have offspring. I'm going to need to raise the barrier because... I think the orangutan could just jump over, which doesn't seem good. So let me at least raise it. I don't have to raise it everywhere, but I probably need to raise it right in this area. To something like this. And even higher, actually. There. Yeah, this is safe. Safety is our number one priority. Okay, let me unpause it. And let's see if they enjoy this. I mean, their entire habitat now is just climbing space. It's pretty funny. What do you think about the climbing now? Now you have plenty of climbing, but not enough land. Okay. So I think my initial assessment is correct. That what we're going to have to do is actually take the path and build it down here. Uh, but not where it's obstructed. So, <coughs> excuse me. I need to delete this staircase. And we'll just build another path like, bah, it's always going to be obstructed there, huh? Well, you know what you do when that's the case. You just build the path around this way first. Well, not that far. Let me, uh... Alright, first of all, let me close that. Let me get this. Let me axe that. And then we're gonna just kind of continue the path. And it needs to be in such a position that they can go under the monorail. And then, you know, connect upward somehow. I swear, for a moment, it wants to grab on. It's hard to see, though. Uh, hmm. There we go. So now they can walk under the monorail, curl around, and arrive over here. And we'll just kind of move some of this stuff out of the way. And then we have to delete, unfortunately, this whole area. And the people are not going to be pleased with that, but we need to make this habitat bigger. Alright, so this side goes away. And then, hopefully, people get it that, you know, you walk over here. This The path gets really tight right there. It's kind of silly. But that has to happen. And then what we're going to do is... Uh, take this barrier and we're going to edit it and I'm going to just delete this and this and this and that for now and then also delete this and then we're going to start uh, walking this over here as close to this as we can now these people are going to be trapped in the habitat I don't really know what happens when you do this this is probably going to be a disaster of unmitigated proportions. Uh, but what happens when you trap them in here? Do they just disappear? Hopefully they do. Yeah, okay. Now this guy is still here. He's like, I'm not leaving. 
Okay, dude. You don't have to. And we'll just move some of this over here. For the moment. And this is actually a perfect place to start building some services. We can build shops uh, right in this area to start selling goods to people. There we go. So we have to do it. You know, we're doing a little bit of surgery, re-aligning some things. There's no power over there, so we're going to have to build another power source on this part of the map, but that's completely fine. And we're going to move this trash can and this. And we're almost done. Move these bins. Ah, uh, we can just delete this for now. Okay, and then I'm going to unpause it, and that guy will disappear. And let's just see if the orangutans, how the space is now. Everything's fine except for the, there's too much short grass, so we'll just go ahead and ter um, terrain, and we can give them more soil all day. Great. Great. Now they have enough space and they have enough climbing, so they're totally good. So the good, th I mean, the nice thing about this is we've gotten to an area where the orangutans are pleased. This needs completely redone to be more accommodating to people, but they can now see the orangutans very well from up here and from down here. And I think that's good. What do you think? Seeing a Barang and Angatang so clearly is awesome. I cherish this memory forever. See, they love this. Oh, because look, they're like right here on the climbing habitat underneath them. I have created the perfect viewpoint for these orangutans. And the orangutans themselves, their welfare is 99%. So that's outstanding. Let me go to their food. I don't have a, a higher quality yet, but we will. Very soon. Ring-tailed lemurs rolling. Oh, we've got some new people visiting the zoo we can say hello to and rack in the conservation points for doing that. Perfect. Well, we need to do a lot of work to get this orangutan habitat at, uh, fixed up in terms of education, but, you know, the zebra zipper is doing well. Dangerous animal has escaped. Okay, so the orangutan is over the side. Ah, he jumped over from here. Okay, hilarious. All right, so we'll just emergency capture that guy. And we're going to edit the barrier. That's so funny. Uh, this always happens to me with climbing animals. So we'll just kind of uh, make sure that we have all of this selected and raise it up so that that isn't a thing anymore. There. And then we box it up, and that should be okay. Oh, people are running away in terror. Balloons flying up. People freak out about it, but it's okay. There's no problem. Inspector left. Report ready for viewing. And we got a perfect evaluation. We'll take it. You know what I mean? Oh, we had a poison frog go. Okay. Speaking of the poison frogs, I haven't checked their habitat in a while. They are probably, or their exhibit... It's probably full up and a disaster. So let me see how many animals are in here. Yeah, way too many. So let's just start cleaning them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, send them into storage. One, two, three. Send them into storage. Hopefully that's good. And then over here... Uh, this is actually doing okay, but even then, um, they only like to have two at a time. Send them into storage, and let's go into animal trading, and let's go into our storage. And just select, uh, well, we'll un oh, this is actually, uh, exhibit trading storage is what I meant to select. And we can just select all of these. 
Um, are any of them capable of being released to the wild? No. No. All right. So just quick trade. Confirm. Bam. Unpause. All right. Hopefully that helps our habitats a little bit. And the orangutans should now not be able to escape, I hope. They're happy, except with their meal, and we'll fix that soon. So everyone, we have uh, tried to expedite this, but it doesn't seem to actually be working. Man, the inspector's back. They were just here. Goodness gracious. Uh, we still have a little bit of a backup on the zebra zipper, but that's okay. Everyone's riding it and using it and having fun. We got another female wild dog, uh, so the pack is good. The orangutans are moving along quite nicely. We need to finish this area. Oh, dangerous animal has escaped again, huh? How did you escape, Betsy? All right, capture her. I wonder how she climbed. I don't even know how that was possible. How did you... Oh, never mind. They can just climb up the wall. It's not... Okay. That's funny. I forget about things like that. All right, edit the barrier. We need to change them all uh, to make them climb proof. So what we're going to do is just click on this. And we're going to just uh, select all this and say climb proof uh, on the right. Yep. And then on the right. Right. And then I'm going to just continue this. Uh, oops. Wrong place. Uh now this, sorry, select, uh, I'm trying to select the barrier. Oh my god, not whatever you think I'm selecting, okay. Obstructed, I'm just trying to select a barrier, there we go. Edit the barrier, and we're gonna just drag this uh, as far as we can. This way, and we're gonna say climb proof on both sides, please. And hopefully now... They can't just willy-nilly escape. I'm going to get this right one of these days with the escaping animals. Maybe. Look at this. You get to wait in line for the zebra zipper and see orangutans. The people are like pointing. They're like, hey, look at that. Now, this is just undeveloped zoo space, but it is a nice sunrise, I guess. Perfect. All right. So... We are rocking and rolling here, doing much better as we build up the zoo. We're almost to 500,000. We're about at 4,000 guests. Our ratings are very good. And the zoo is expanding in a happy way with walkways up above and down below. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you next time in Let's Play Planet Zoo Franchise Mode. Take care. There goes the zebra zipper.